This show has been sponsored by Citroen News Guys. If you're looking for a carnival wine, if you're looking for a carnival wine, let me take you to Trinidad and Tobago. We are the greatest land of Calypso. We have a uptown style for your disco. We have a downtown gal for your tiptoes. And the tequila or the rascals with your favorite style for your rapto. I'm Jamaki and welcome to the Rally Trinidad 2018, the biggest and best rally event of the year. This year we are here, we were here in Bronte yesterday and today we are in Indian Trail which is a bigger spectator area, much more winding corners, um, it's more action packed event. Uh, today we had some competitors run off stage, some mechanical failures from the previous day who couldn't have made it. Um, more or less it had very competitive action, you know, drivers going all through the stage and up through the mountains and I hear them see the smoke. It wasn't really dusty as opposed to Bronte, but it was a very dusty stage and a lot of rocks. We had a lot of sunshine, but a little tiny drizzle of rain in the middle of the day, which gave the competitors a little surprise with the um, conditions of the course. But other than that, the hot sun just dried the course and they had a lot of fun. Couple Guinness and Star will fill the drum. Should we party, we party till we don't party till we don't. Hey, girl. We are here with current reigning rally champion Stuart Johnson today. Can you tell us about how the felt the competition was today? Um, unfortunately for us, we had a clutch problem early in the game yesterday. Um, by the third corner, we lost our clutch. We parked the car, we took it home last night, we changed the clutch, uh, brought it back out. Apparently, unfortunately, in the rush of things, we didn't put a pin in sufficiently. Put, not put a not pin in sufficiently. Um, on the first run through here this evening, well, this morning, uh, we lost the clutch again, but this time we had gears, so we completed the stage. But um, when the clutch came out, the shaft moved over and it damaged the gearbox. So we were out, we ran two stages, one and a half stages for the entire rally. So it's not a good time for us. The conditions look very um, mixed today, uh, just from sitting as an outsider now. Um, it was very dry, as I said, I got to run on the first stage, but then the rain fell. Um, that changes conditions, especially here with the Sabbath mud considerably. And then um, it dried back out, actually, and it, it, it gave the guys a lot of traction. So it's unfortunate what happened to us. We, 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 I wish I could have been here battling with the guys, but that's rallying. We have our ups and we have our downs. Yes, we certainly do have our ups and our downs. Um, to remind the fans here today, what car do you drive? I drive a uh, Subaru SDI N12. Um, for Trinidadians, they'll be referred to more as the Hawkeye model Subaru. Um, and it's a Group N car, as in N12. So it, it's a nice car, a lot of enjoyment to drive, very reliable. We're just very unfortunate with a little uh, deficient part that, that took us out in the early stages, but that's racing. Yes, indeed. Now, since you're on the sidelines and you enjoy the party with all the spectators as well, who do you think has a shot at the championship now that you're out? Um, the championship is, would be always be very hard to tell. Um, as I experienced this weekend in rallying, you have your times. Um, I could come the next four events and win them all. And the person that wins rally, Trinidad today, may have two rallies where he has a problem. So at the end of it all, it, it, it all, it all ends up with how your luck works and how well you drive and keep on the stage. You know, a lot of thoughts and prayers 
to go into the cars of rallying. Um, being on this track today, uh, what do you think about the course layout? The course layout is amazing. Um, I have to give uh, Barry McKenzie, the president of the club, and um, Simon Rodriguez, who assist him in cutting these stages. It's very, very uh, amazing insight. Um, these stages are phenomenal, phenomenal. I think these stages would be recognized on a world level, to be honest with you. You know, if, if we were to get cars to come from all different sectors of the world, it would be recognized because it's, it's amazing, it's confusing, and that's what makes rally interesting. Wind up your body non-stop. We love it when you bubble on top. Your pretty body girl fit for the carnival. Every man want that. We are here with Scott Shepard. Uh, Scott Shepard here, former rally driver. You know, how you felt about the day today? Oh, so far, so far, so good. It's, um, it's been exciting. The crowd here has been enjoying it, for sure. The, the stage layout here is awesome. You can see a lot of the stage. Barry McKenzie, the TTRC has done a great job here with this spectator area. I mean, it's, it's enjoyable for everyone. I mean, there's been some attrition. The two-wheel drive cars out, but that's rallying, right? Wind up your body non-stop. We love it when you bubble on top. Your pretty body girl fit for the carnival. Every man want Hi, um, uh, I'm here with my friends, mom. The rally family as well. Uh, cool. um, what do you think about the day today? Well, to be honest with you, the day has been beautiful. Lots of sunshine, lots of dust. If you're a rally fan, it's what you want and it's what you're looking forward to. All right, cool. What do you think about the course layout today with the lovely spectator? I must admit, Barry McKenzie has outdone himself this time. Uh, the course has been very well put together for spectators. It is very spectator friendly, uh, where everything you can see, everything is in front of you. Uh, and it's, if you just take a look at it, it, it you just see a whole trail of, of winding roads and it, it is something to see, especially when there are cars on it. So yes, it is a wonderful course this year. Uh, thank you. Do you have any particular vehicle that you're putting all of your support behind today? Well, I'm part of the Rally family, so there I support everybody and I wish everybody good luck. And I, I'm, I'm really kind of bummed that some of them had engine problems and had car problems. But at the end of the day, I support everyone because at the end of the day, it's a family and we're here to support everybody together. We are here with another former rally driver by the name of Erica. Erica. She used to drive a Truth to Truth, that's correct? No, a Toyota Starlet. Now, Erica, we would like to ask the fans here today who want to know why did they stop driving? Well, I think I have accomplished all what I set out to do over the years. And uh, it was time for me to hang up my gloves, and uh, I have no regrets. Yes, when we are having fun, you have no regrets. Things like that pave anyway for women in the motorsport. There's a lack of women here in it. Um, how did you enjoy the day today? Oh, it was very good, and I think the weather was fantastic for the drivers. Yes. And I did have fun sitting in front line. <laughs> With a page on girl like Riri, in a VIP, can you see me? Champagne for the girl, them tipsy. Carnival is a LOVE. Short. Stuart, about how he enjoyed the event and how the action was. So, Stuart. Tell me about how you thought the day was today. Nah, so far it's real cool, real dirt flying, the fellas doing real good, um, nobody crashed, nobody right off, so I guess that's a plus, right? Wind up your body non-stop, we love it when you bubble on top, your pretty body girl fit for the carnival, every man want that. Wind up your body non-stop, we love it when you bubble on top.